please talk about the history of Strategicon. Well, uh, I founded this game convention with my friend Jim Myers, and that was in 1976. Uh, we did the first convention in January 1977 at Cal State Fullerton. We were Cal State Fullerton for some three, four years, moved to the Anaheim Sheraton. I picked up the show and moved it here to the LA Hyatt, right near the airport, and now we're here at the LAX Sheraton. Talk a little bit about running a convention. Uh, it's a lot of work, actually. Um, I've been very fortunate. Uh, I've got a good staff around me. There's no way you can ever attempt to do something like this yourself. You need a dedicated core of volunteers. Uh, we've got 20 plus working essentially full-time as volunteers on staff, and then we've got hundreds, and I mean literally four or five hundred volunteers helping run the show. Without that, you can't do, so you can't do something like this at all. How did you initially get involved? I started coming to these shows in 1981 as a 15-year-old kid. It gives you an idea. You know, my mom drove me out here. Um, I started actually getting involved on the running side of things uh, through another spin-off show from this universe, which ran in 1988 and 89. A friend of mine basically pulled me in to help him start running stuff. Uh, then I got from there. I went rebuilt Polycon, which was in San Luis Obispo, and then in 2006 uh, the former owners of this basically offered uh, me, you know, did they ask me if I wanted to buy it because they knew I had the experience running conventions. So we took over starting in 2007 and we've been going ever since. What do you love about this uh, convention? Well, it's a lot of fun, first off. Uh, it's an extended family. I always thought that you should run these conventions as if you were putting on a party for 1,500 of your best friends and uh, let them all enjoy it. Uh, and if you're not having fun, there's no point of doing it, really. What kind of advice do you have for young people who are interested in game design, just love, or are passionate about gaming? What would you want to tell them? First off, just do it, but don't expect to make a lot of money. Follow your passions, but uh, be prepared. It's a tough reality out there. There's not a lot of money in the analog side of games. If you want to get in computer games, there's a lot of money there, but it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, put in, be prepared to put in some ugly hours. Uh, but you know, make it a hobby. Have fun. If you're not enjoying it, don't do it. I'm very fortunate enough that I don't have to make money off of this. I just get to have fun doing it. So it's, it's a good position to be in. That's wonderful. And what do you have planned for this evening? Dinner. <laughs> How long have you been coming to Strategicon? Wow, that's a really that's a, that's a good question. I think since I was about 12 or so. Yeah, I've been coming here with my mom, and I actually used to come to this room when I was a kid, before I was really even allowed to be in here on my own, and then as things have kind of changed and progressed, and now I help run it, and, and we, we've changed the rules a little bit too. But uh, yeah, I've been here, so I guess, what is that, it's about 10 years, so a long time. What do you say to kids who love video games and their parents can't stand that they play them, or have a misconception of them as video game players? Honestly, um, I actually work at GameStop, and I get a lot of that. Like parents who are like, "Oh no, you can't play that," and I, I get it's really, it's really kind of a bummer, honestly, because there are some parents who come in and they're very informed. They know, like on the back of or on the front and on the back of every video game that's sold in retailers, there's something called the ESRB, and it has ratings on it. And if I, if I were to tell kids specifically, although some of them don't quite understand. It's informing your parents or getting your parents to sort of be interested in what you're doing. It's the same thing as school, reading, extracurriculars, sports. It's the same exact thing. You just have to inform your parents on what it is you're playing. Like, hey, mom, I'm, I'm playing this game called, like, Minecraft. I'm, I'm just running out with my friends, and we are building stuff and fighting zombies, and that's kind of, like, what I'm interested in. And it's really important not to... For kids, not to be mad at your parents if they tell you no, because I used to get mad at my mom all the time, but um, eventually she allowed me to just foster my own interests, and that's where I got, you know, that's how I'm here. So, yeah, just try to get your parents interested or informed on the, on the matter. Good advice to young kids, and also keep playing, right? Follow your passion. Yes, yeah, definitely. Don't, don't abandon it just because people tell you you shouldn't. That's not, there's no inherently negative, you know, reason to, to avoid video games. Just kind of like balance. It's moderation. It's like anything else in life. Huzzah! Huzzah!